Okay, looking at our CALM model for transition, transitioning back to school. We've looked at the C for collaboration. We've looked at the A for adjustments. We've looked at the L for leadership and low stimulus. And finally, we're going to look at the M for CALM. And the M here is for monitoring. Now, everything is going to be changing very, very quickly we may encounter another spike in the virus. We may encounter all of the usual um, issues around a long summer holiday with a new cohort of children entering uh, school. Uh, so there are many, many things. And then there's also the additional pressure for the children who may have missed key milestones like in their year 11, or year six, they haven't had their leavers events, um, not quite in the same way at least. Um, and then we've got children going into school which may um, be look completely different to the school they visited. Uh, teachers may have left. So many things will have changed. So we've all been through a transition. We've all been through a huge upheaval emotionally and some of us physically. So when we're going into that school, we need to think about the M, which is monitoring. Monitoring, how is the school coping? Monitoring, how is the school communicating? Monitoring, how are children with additional needs managing in a much changed school environment with different, possibly different support plans in place? And how are parents managing? How are you managing? So what we have to do is realize that we're gonna build up to a transition and then we're going to find ourselves in September and it will feel strange and interesting and exciting and scary and all of these things. And things will be changing fast again. So the very best we can do to keep ourselves calm is to monitor the situation see how things are, see how your child is, see how the leadership is, see what kind of support is in place, what is working, what's not working, um, see how your child is feeling, are they feeling generally happy? Going back to those earlier conversations about um, their feelings during lockdown, are they managing their emotions around the changing world and the changing school environment or there, are they having more signs of anxiety or signs of stress. So monitoring is the last thing that we have to do to try and keep ourselves calm during this transition period. <laughs>